Hello, I'm Gab. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. You may have noticed this year we didn't do a giant balloon June video. Sad. We've missed them in the past and it's not really been too big of a deal. No. This year though, absolute outrage and uproar. Honestly, the amount of comments I saw in our last video being like, where's giant balloon June? <laughs> It's unbelievable. Well, we've heard you loud and clear. I'd present to you Giant Balloon. That's what you're going with? Giant Balloon? I was limited on options. <laughs> OK, it's fine. Fair. Fine. Well, seeing as there's still some time in Giant left, I thought we'd do... <laughs> it definitely um, doesn't work like that. <laughs> thought we'd do two videos. Yeah, we're going to try and do a couple of videos for you. This time, you know, revisiting some classic Giant Balloon moments. But instead of like a thousand frames, two and a half thousand frames a second, we're going to use the TMX to crank it all the way up to 82,000 frames a second and actually get some scientific, you know, very close up high speed detail of something that we usually just film on a wide and leave it. Sure, so you're, you're justifying this by saying it's scientific? Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. I'll give you that. All right, let's fill the balloon. All right. <laughs> we might have been here once or twice before. So first attempt will be a classic jump on it from a height. Yep. The one that I'm most likely to probably hurt myself doing. <laughs> Should we we'll get this one last? Well, yeah, we'll get that out of the way, shall we? Yeah, the first time this one was attempted, it was me doing it. Jumping out of trees and that. Me and my bro. I was there for the first bit. We've had this camera for a while now, but I have never used it on a giant balloon. And just like that, we're off again. How long does it usually take? 20 minutes. If it was in my house, it would take about three hours. My water pressure, and the, I've got one of those old houses with tiny little pipes. Oh. Here, you turn on the water, and you could turn all your taps on, it'd be like <laughs> Whereas my house, if you, if you have a shower and flush the toilet, it's like, oh, <laughs> great. I mean, it looks like, looking at the side, it looks like it's ready to bust. I think she's got more to give. Really? Yeah. All right. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> a literally famous last word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want you to dwell on this. This could happen to anyone. Oh. It looks like a looks like a sea urchin. Yeah, it's weird. It's like dragged every piece of visible surface. It just looks like a big load, load of streaks. Like it, it looks like a big patch of mold, like yeah. a, a macro of mold. It looks like the the moldiest tomato, except <laughs> it's not at the top. The top is pristine. Yeah, they just left that bit in the fridge. See, look, even though it's all it's, it's gone so small, it doesn't really crumple until the very last minute. The water on top, it's like it's anti-gravity. It's like rain going upwards. Yeah, I was wondering why I got so soaked, but because of the way it popped, it, it whipped the whole thing up into like a big giant water droplet. All right, well, let's try and get that again, but ideally with you landing on it and with the sun out. No premature bursting, sunny. Got it. Did I say you could touch my baby? But your last baby exploded, so. <laughs> <laughs> they're, all, they're all slightly different. It's never the same when we do these. No consistency whatsoever. It makes it really difficult because one balloon behaves completely different to all the other ones. Yeah. Ready when you are. Jesus. <laughs> well, that was night and day from the other one. It's, it's not as tall anymore. It. You, like, you crushed all its business and now it's a bigger balloon. Jeez! <laughs> I was not expecting that. I wasn't either. I couldn't believe it when you started going upwards. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great commitment though. <laughs> you liked it? Yeah, really good. See, to me it felt like I just went shoulder first, but I've obviously put my hand down. <laughs> <laughs> My face. I thought I'd take my shirt off to get some more of the wibblement of the yeah, skin. Yeah. I look like I've been thrown out by a bouncer. <laughs> I don't know. I look like I've been chucked out of a club. You've been counting cards again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, <See> ya. <laughs> I just got ejected. It, it's flattened by at least a few inches there. Ready? Well, it's a bigger target now. Go for it. How was the impact? I think I hit my ear on the side of the, oh. the balloon and it's like just gone like <laughs> whisked all the air into my ear. Your ear got plunged. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Is it like that time when we both got hit in the ear with individual water balloons? Similar, but this wasn't as bad. Oh. 
I remember hearing a van about a quarter of a mile away really loudly in my ear. For yeah, it, it briefly both, it gave us both super hearing, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, best of both worlds. Oh, it looks like wrinkly as anything there. Look at it. Yeah, the ripples are immense. My neck muscles are going. It makes you look ripped on the top. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, wow. Look at that. We, I don't think we've ever seen it break like that. Oh, little tiny wow. shards. Tiny tears of rubber. It's so weird to see the two different speeds. Like when we, play, when we film this normally, the ripples are like Yeah. But to see it, the, the crack, the rip happening this slow, the blobbles are just completely paused. The blobbles. Looks like someone slapped my underarm. Yeah. I said afterwards it looked like it had burst more. Yeah. It exploded. And then see now we're seeing like different textures in the yeah. water. It's rougher where the balloon stays for longer. Yeah, the patterns, I think the patterns in the water are my favorite part of that. Well, because it's a slow motion, it scales everything up. Oh, look at the back, that water coming up at the end. Yeah. God, it's just everything happening in that shot. It somehow looks totally different to when we've done it before. Yeah. It's, it's a completely different watch. It's a factor of the speed, I think. So this whole clip, you jumping, landing, splash, has turned into 78 minutes of footage. It still blows my mind. Okay, I've stuck on a fat 200 mil for a close-up. The issue is predicting where the final bulge will be. So I'll have you hold your hand at the front. Yeah. And then maybe I'll put the focus slightly in front of that to give room for bulgeage. Bulge factor. The bulge factor. Okay. I'm gonna pick up this one. I'm just gonna Jason Bourne you on this one. Well, like a handheld jobby. Yeah, like when he's like running through the, jumping out the window. I'm just gonna chase you with it. Sure. This is the Freefly Ember 2.5K. It's a lovely little camera for running around with because it's so small and I'll be at about 2,200 frames a second. Yep. Oh, would you believe it? <laughs> Didn't happen again. The thing again. that hurt the most was I got cramped in my leg. <laughs> I landed and got cramped in my leg. I was like, ow, never mind landing on the floor. Do you think that's the most pictures ever taken of cramp? <laughs> <laughs> Slow-mo cramp, just like, ah. So cool. And look how fast that rip is. And it seems to be like it's, if you look closely here, it looks like it's zigzagging. I mean, it is. It must just be finding the weakest points yeah. in, the, in the rubber. Which is something that, I mean, on a thousand frames a second, how we used to film this, that whole tear would have been like one frame, another frame. Yeah. But we're actually seeing it, it like make little decisions where to go. Yeah, we, we've seen the balloon popping more than the water yeah. being left there. I love that. That's cool. You would never know that happened. No. It's like ribs. Yeah. Just like a skeleton of water. And you can see from this shot, this bit here, like how shallow the focus is. Yeah. A few drops are in focus at a time. I like the glistening effect, all the out, out of focus droplets. Yeah, it's cool. And then, crotch. Oh, <laughs> wow. Is that a crotch? Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> Sideways crotch. Somehow, somehow the shot always ends up on your crotch. No matter what, what, where I've aimed it or focused it. You, no, you do it on purpose, honestly. Even though we filmed that probably more than anything else, yeah. that extra level of slow-mo just showed us so much more. That little wobbly little... The little jiggly line. Line that was going across the rip. Yeah, usually these balloon videos are mostly us messing around having fun with a little bit of slow-mo yeah. chucked in. But this time we added something new, a new dimension. Yeah, usually I just bung it on a wide because your face and you want to see everything. Yeah. And if I did go on a close-up in the past, I'm only filming it like 
2,000 frames a second, yeah. so the rip would still be like, because the closer you go, the faster the action moves across the sensor. So it actually allowed for our first giant balloon close-up. It took it out of context as well, because usually you can see the whole balloon, everything yeah. that's going on, but this made it look like something completely different. Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah. Happy with that. You managed to get the, the tight on such a small amount of focus as well. I was so impressed. Minuscule. Yeah. It was, like, it was having to like guess how much it would bulge before ripping. But yeah. Thankfully, we got it. Nice Hopefully, one. you enjoyed seeing something you've probably already seen, but much slower. Check back again in a few days, because there's another one. In the meantime, I've got to pick up all these bits of balloon that are yeah. on the floor. Oh, here's a bit. Oh, cheers. That's your effort, is it? Oh. <laughs> cheers for that. <laughs>